Okay. <laughs> Ini bago ko. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Welcome friends to the Filipinas final big board chat. So slowly the um World Cup teams are now uh releasing their rosters may it be final or preliminary. A lot of people are asking when ours would be released and the answer is I don't know. <laughs> Uh, they're also not making an announcement as to when. So what we do know is that the team will um have a camp in Australia to prepare for the World Cup. I'm assuming based on the events in the next few days, the camp should start uh, next week. The assumption is, um my assumption now is based on how the other teams are releasing uh their roster. So I think we might see a preliminary roster with more than Uh, 23 players who will participate in the camp in Australia and then they will release another final roster before the uh, FIFA deadline on July 9. So, as promised um, from our big board uh, five months ago five months na ba? Five months ago <laughs> um, but this time we'll have um, Jack instead of um, Jamer uh Because the reason being is um there's a clamor for a female a guest instead of a male guest. But obviously I can't let go of my best friend, my bestie, Ken Garcia. He needs to be <laughs> episode. <laughs> um so before we start, let me just uh set the ground rules. Ground rules. Um just to remind everyone again, okay, um, as we go about discussing the big board like we did five months ago so we have three levels um level one would be the lock-ins or roster locks so these are basically your clear starters or um, preferred substitutes uh level two would be players fighting for their spot um are in contention but it could go either way and then level three uh players that are in form deserves a look or used to be a key player but no longer appears to be in the plans of um coach allen sorry coach allen um so uh ken and jack it's up to you how many will you put on each level we don't even have to meet the final 23 count this is just purely uh a discussion between between us fans which as i've mentioned before something you know fans talk about in football groups or offline Also, let me just highlight again that we are not um, Filipinas or football experts. We're just um, passionate fans. So don't come at us in the comment section that we're no experts. We are not experts and we don't claim to be. Um, also, no sentimental reasons this time. And we'll do our best to be objective uh, as we talk about the Filipinas, final Filipinas big board. Okay, so I think let's jump right in. Let's start with the keepers because that's the easiest one to deliberate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, okay, so Jack, do you want to start? Yeah. Um, for me, obviously, it's um, Liv and Kiara as the uh, lock-ins for me. So starting starter would be um, Liv and sub would be Kiara. So there. So that's the um automatic lock in for me. Okay, but you have to keep in mind. I think we need. Sorry, I I need to check on this with um get get tama ba? Diba? We need three keepers, right? I know we need three keepers. Yep, we need three. Okay, so for the third one, my third keeper is um. Kaya Hota. Kaya Just Hota. because of yes, okay, because of the skills that she has, the agility that she has, the height that she has. So um, that for me um is the basic um differences and advantages that she has over our over <laughs> over Kay Ina. So yeah. Okay, so luck for you would be um Liv, Liv Kiara and Kaya, uh Kiara and Hota. How about you, Ken? Yeah. Um, the three goalkeepers. Uh, that. Uh, I think 
uh, we should see uh, in that women's World Cup lineup would be um, well, Olivia McDaniel uh, and Chiara Fontanilla. It's like you have a one a one B option eh, uh, with um, Liv and Chiara. They're both good um, in ane, very distinct styles of goalkeeping, but both are very serviceable and reliable. For the third one, I think I'll go with Ina. Um, for the reason that she is the remaining veteran of the team um, prior to the um, I th- the new age of the Filipinas program. So for me, heading into a major tournament, um, having a very a veteran who provides a good locker room presence is very important to keep the team together. Especially, this is prob uh uncharted territory for all of the players. But to have a veteran presence in the locker room, it will help the girls uh stabilize. And you know, when you have someone like Ina who's been there for many years. Uh, serving the country uh, in women's football. Uh, I think her presence and her experiences, uh, it's the intangibles that she brings uh, that I think uh, deserve, that I think uh, that she has that makes her deserve the third goalkeeper slot. Ooh, gotcha. Gotcha, Ken. Um, wow. So I'll, I'll put it this way. So so live definitely lock in for a first choice keeper. Kiara second. Um I would put uh Hota and Ina on level two. So it could go either way. The the only reason why I mean for the many reasons that Kent already mentioned, that's the reason why I'm going for Ina. But at the same time, um I don't think we can overlook the the skills that Kaya Hota can 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 you know that that she can bring to to the table but um as i've mentioned in our first uh filipinas big board um i would um prefer ina for the third position for the many reasons that ken has mentioned um iba kasi yung yung how do you call it is it locker room respect or oh, let's just say respect that that ina brings especially for the younger players that we have um so again i'm just glad i'm not making this decision <laughs> so, um <laughs> well, coach Alan would decide that. but yeah so i'll put it that way because it could go either way ina or kaya hota i'll put them on level two but my lock-ins are definitely um olivia and and kiara um i i De- definitely i'm i'm all for for olivia being our number one keeper i mean a lot of people would argue that it should be it should be kiara but to be honest we're yet to really see um kiara start on like uh more ano ba to? like start versus you know tougher opponents uh it's always been in the past competitions it's always been um olivia and um in the many in the few instances that Kiara would start, the the only reason being is because they have to rest um Olivia. So again, in my opinion, Olivia gets the starting keeper position. Second would be Kiara. <laughs> There's a high chance that I think Langha, just based on how Kiara's how the coaching staff would start Kiara in previous tournaments. I have a feeling Kiara would start versus New Zealand. Unless, of course, you know, they decide otherwise. But usually, again, like I said, um, Kiara would start on, like, games wherein they have to rest um, Olivia. And the, the our third game versus Norway would be our toughest yet. So I think they might have to rest Olivia and have Kiara play for the New Zealand game. What do you guys think? Same. Same. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I won't be shocked if they come up with that decision. Uh, yeah. In the way Asian Cup, we saw Kiara starting against Australia in the group stage. I mean, uh, that gesture, uh, or that uh role assigned to Kiara on that specific match against 
uh probably our most um tough our toughest opponent in the group stage back then um it shows the testament uh, it is a testament on how coach Allen trusts her so again para siyang ano eh, 1a 1b so you don't really lose yeah. either way they're both yeah, good in for sure regard. yes yes okay so like i said very easy na yung um keeper position let's go to the defenders <laughs> before we before we talk about the defenders let me just state how um the last time we talked about this i mentioned how angie beard is the only person on my wish list because this person showed the interest and made an effort to you know to play for us like as as mentioned time and time again reportedly she declined um an australia camp invite only to show up uh in in california um and it's looking more likely that she will play for us um just based on the recent social media post by herself and her parents but again nothing official yet so that being said before we discuss the the the, the, the players no we don't know if you know it's official if she can mm. really if she's eligible so i'll put her on um on the second level um kent you want to start our discussion on the defenders for your locked players Woo! okay <laughs> oh yeah here we go again okay uh wait lang nakakabal <laughs> pero okay I'll, I'll, I'll try my best to compose and yeah uh, uh make a very good uh yeah i word. i oh. when i was when i was working on this list i have one or four locks but the rest are like but anyway let's let's hear it from you Ken. um first of all for uh level one defenders of uh, i think uh i have three locks here three so first of all three, three uh, wait lang, three lang. yeah three oh, okay 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 good sige, okay. Sige. go on okay um so i'll i say pag lock i mean these are the the, sure na, sure na talaga. Sure na, oh, and probably we'll start every every match. Yes. Unless injury happens. Yes. So level no. one, um, let's start with, uh, Haley Long. So, mm. uh, uh, as always, a very formidable, uh, presence for us in central defense. Um, you know, it's, she's been very very impressive, very fitness levels are always high, very, um. She's the marshal of that defense. Uh, very impressive considering that she's not playing overseas. No, so you know, uh, a player of her quality. Um, also one of the squad's veterans along with Ina. So she's very indispensable to that back line. Second would be Jess Coward. Um, so well, we saw Maya Alcantara taking. Uh, center stage in the sea games but uh Jess Coward has more experience playing overseas so been playing in various uh, in foreign clubs in Serbia so and now i think she's in uh she's in Iceland if i'm not mistaken so you know um that Sweden. Uh, uh, Sweden sorry uh thank you for the correction uh man. so i that's a very good uh level of play uh for her and that would be very vital for us you know experiences uh as top level experiences you know very important heading into the women's world cup then third would be um sophia harrison so the only you know sophia very serviceable fullback uh the thing uh despite her injury issues uh hindi na yan bago uh with sofia but what makes the thing that makes me put her to uh the deciding factor that made me put sofia on my level 1 defenders board is she can provide very good crosses very good uh you know i mean we're not the favorites but uh because of that in every match, we need to uh, make sure that we put in good crosses whenever we can. And, I, and time and time again, Sofia is a very good crosser of the ball. I think, for me, 
the best the best in our the best crossing fullback on our squad so um i'll put her on my level one and hopefully she stays healthy until the women's world cup we really need her presence yeah. there okay level Ka- two um oh, wait lang Kent. let me stop you yeah. there let's talk right. about the um uh level two players later para ano um uh, okay. back and forth as to why they're in level two Sige. okay jack your turn Okay, so for my level one defenders, um, same with Kent. Um, so my number one defender would be Haley. For um, nobody can deny the talent that she has in the back line. Um, if everybody's up, she's the one left at the back, and she can still manage. So second is Jessica Cowart. So um, even if it's just the two of them left. With Olivia at the back, um, we are sure that our goal is safe. Yeah, if everyone's attacking with uh with our fullbacks. So um with my uh right and left backs, I have Sophia Harrison, because I'm basing it from the current roster. Sophia Harrison, um, same. She um she could go up and down without being tired, and she passes the ball. And yeah, very great crosser. Um, sometimes um, she makes those long passes or an attempt to shoot. You just need to tap in. So, yun yung mga sayang. And, yun. So, Alicia Barker for my right back. Um, ever since she joined the team, uh, for me, um, yun, um, nagkaroon na tayo ng natural right back. For, so, she is a revelation for me. So, I'm keeping her there. So, those are my lock ins um, Haley, Jessica, Sophia, and Alicia. And do I um kasama ba yung mga sub for level one or no? No, just your level one. Like you're sure you're okay. locked locked in. Is that all? Yeah. So yeah, that those four. Those four. Okay. Actually, yeah. we're the same. So my locked ins are also Haley Long. Um, I will not mention the reasons because you all talked about the <laughs> many reasons why. <laughs> um. So my number one really is Haley Long for sure. Jessica Coward. Ah, oh, come on. Yes, Jessica Coward. And Sophia Harrison. Um, to be honest, like before the Sea Games, I was, and you know, because of her injuries as well, but I was like, uh, I mean, I was rooting for her, but like maybe she'll be on like the level two spot. But af- I was really impressed with her Sea Games campaign. Like you have four or five players closing her down, but she's just there trying to make the cross, bringing the ball forward. So I, yeah, so that's the reason why I've decided to have her on my, um, locked in players and Alicia Barker so the reasons why as you know just to piggyback on what Jack mentioned she's a national right back and there's no denying that she's added dynamism on the right flank so you know those are the only um reasons why I'd put um, Alicia Barker completo na siya left and right tapos sa gitna so those are my four locked players so let's talk about are level 2 players. And I just want to highlight level 2. So these are players that we think are fighting for a spot who are in contention, but it could go either way. So we don't know yet. We're not sure. Again, it's not it's not up to us. It's for the staff to decide. But we, we're going to talk about the reasons why we think it could go either way. Um, Kent, you want to start with your level 2 players? Um. So let's start with level 2. So first of all, I've put... Eva and Alicia on level two because I think um they're they're in competition for that right back slot. Well, unless um Coach Allen will clear will clear out what their roles will be because Eva can be put on midfield. So yun. But for me, either of them, they're both good to start. Uh, I'll give just I'll give Barker the slight edge as well because she's a natural defender talaga. and um, um not to mention uh she's not showing her um what to call this the long throw in yet <laughs> uh, I think <laughs> it's useful I, I uh, want to see that Mali was a World yeah. Cup Charot. yep <laughs> yep actually uh it's useful uh, when we get those uh opportunities you gotta make them count so uh, that's why that's the reason why I 
put them on level two. But either of them can easily be level one. But you know, uh, in the training camp, we might see some competition there. So, right. You know. yeah. 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 It's it, it was the same for me. Like I was torn between like Eva and and um, Alicia, but. Kasi nga, Eva just slots in every position. Parang utility player. Like you said, you can put her on the midfield. So, I just felt that Alicia would be more solid in that right back position. And, you know, so, yun nga, sa, like what you said. Pwede din kasi siya sa midfield, but um, that's that's another topic. <laughs> um, <laughs> Other players on your... um Jack, how about you? Oh, I think Ken is not done. Then ah okay yeah. sorry 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 yep. so uh, I, I have a lot of players to sorry to I was thinking baka kasi may baka may i-add si si Jack dun sa RB position let's justify why they're in their level two because we're not in level two we're not sure if they will make it or not so what are your reasons as to why level two lang siya hindi siya lock because um. For me, you know, natural position kasi ni Alicia yun. And I've seen yung difference with her playing nung... I mean, yeah, um, the difference nung naglaro si Alicia versus si Eva. Okay. So, 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 so you're, we're, in, we're in agreement that the reason why you chose Alicia Barker is because Alicia Barker would be more suited sa likod as a defender for us versus Eva. Is that right? Is yes. that the right assumption? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. All right. Gotcha. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> okay go, go. Okay. Then other uh, level two. Um, I think I I would classify it more as a uh, reliable, serviceable options. If mm-hmm. ever we the are yung nasa level one would get injured. So well sa level two um Maya and Dom uh I think level two why level two um Al uh, Haley and Jess are just too good not to start for me um and I they agree. complete each other um Haley Long very brute defender um then Coward would be your um um ball playing center back so you know for Maya she uh she did fine in the past sea games and in the other matches that she featured but it's just uh Haley and Jess are just too experienced then I also place uh Bonta uh on the level two um very hard to displace Sophia but will be a good option and also um Angie Beard so we just hope that she can get that clearance and passport. If if not for that, I think she'll slot in on level one. Okay. Being... Yeah. I'm sure Jack would say the same thing. But okay, Jack, go ahead. I I sorry, are you done, Kit? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so for my level two, it's only Reina. Um simply because all others are in level one as a sub. So yung sub kodun is Eva and Maya. So um I wanna see more of Reina. Like yung hindi nervous Reina. Yung hindi kabado. Kasi um whenever she gets the ball, um she is a center back and she always passes the ball in the middle. And as a defender, that's a number one error. Do not clear the ball or pass the ball in the middle. Because that's a scoring opportunity for the opponent. So um when but you know um there are times man that she's um not nervous and she is playing well she knows where to pass it she passes clears it forward or clears it outside if the ball is near the goal so um you know, that's my level 2 for defender um and she for me is in level 3 simply because it's not yet official so she's an avenger for me as of the moment yeah, but um, sorry. So you're saying your level two is only Bonta? Um, level two, yeah, yeah. Bonta and Maya and yeah. Eva are what? In level one as a sub. Your level one is your locked in. So okay. is Maya and Eva locked in for you? Um. Okay. So then I'll transfer them to level two then. Okay. So level Maya two. and Eva. Okay. So yeah. so 
Okay. Before we proceed, so. let me just clarify. So okay. locked ins for Kent for the for defenders are Haley, Jess, and Sophia. The locked ins for the defender position for Jack is Haley, Jess, Sophia, and Alicia, which is also the same for me. And then Ava and Ava and Maya would be on your level two, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I need to list that. Oh, para hindi oh, ko pala okay. rewind your wine pag ganun. Uh, okay. okay. You, you add na rin si Reina on level 2. Le- Reina would be on level on level 2. Okay. Then, gotcha. Yeah. So, yeah, so for me level 2 um yun nga so as I mentioned earlier, Eva would be on my level 2 um simply because I don't think she'll she she'll be um okay sa, sa likod. Siguro, if we're talking about like midfield role. Kasi nga, again, she's played many different roles in the team. And, yun nga. Um, Dom Randall would be in my level 2. Because when I think about Dom, I, I've said this time and time and, and time and time again. When I think about um Dominic Randall, I associate her with like hard work. Um, to me, she's like the most hard hardworking player that we had. Um, with the most number of minutes, especially in in the Asian Cup, I'm talking about the Asian Cup. Um, Dom could also play center back, full back, and in my opinion, Kent has mentioned this many times. She she's our best one v one defender. Um, and as we're all expecting, the Filipinas will definitely be doing a lot of um a lot of defending. So I think um we really need. Dom Randall. Uh, again, the only reason why I'm putting her in number two is because, um, I'm not sure. Um, she hasn't she she hasn't played in the previous camps, and there has been like some issues with, um, medyo nagiging jittery siya and things like that. But, um, again, that's not us for us to decide. So, you no, know, that's the only reason why I'm putting her on, um, on level two. Uh, it's the same with um Reina Bonta and Maya Alcantara. Um, I'm not a fan of because there's been discussion and like uh you have to choose between Dominic Randall or Bonta. I mean, like most people would argue in the groups or in the comment sections. I think to be honest, both should go. Um, so it's the same. My reason for putting them on level two would be the same for both Bonta and Maya Alcantara. I just feel like, you know, like what Ken said, Haley and and Jess Coward, Salikod. Is just too good, um, and I think Rina Bonta and and my Alcantara is just not on that, on that level, um, yeah. So, na mention ko na Angie Beard, you know, like like what Ken said, kung sure tayo may passport na siya and she can really play for us. Level one locked in, but <laughs> we're not sure yet. So, um, yon ah. Uh, Let's talk about some of the previous defenders that we have. Malia Cesar, Kent, what do you think? Well, Malia, um, for me, um, still a very good uh, defender. However, um, na champo lang na we had a lot of you know new players on the flanks, especially on her position. Um, also, we we saw uh, on the last couple of training camps last year, especially uh, in the Chile camp, in the Costa Rica camp, uh, she's having some struggles, like r- rough patch of form. Um, I don't know what specifically is happening, but she's like a step slower or a bit erratic in handling the ball forward. So I think it's something that she she needs to improve on. Good thing that she's playing regular club football uh, as of the moment. But I think uh, we just have they just have, we there are better options than her as of the moment, as well as uh, Tara Shelton. So you know um we if anything we're never short of we're never short of fullbacks. It's like uh one of the positions for. Now suddenly we are very deep, so serviceable option as well. Uh, but I we think uh not yet on the level required for the women's World Cup. Well, I worth mentioning see si Chantel, but I think 
if Sandal. we gonna classify her, it's on the midfield. Really? You put me. her on the midfield? Why? Yeah. Uh Sorry. I think she she'll uh on the face on the physic side of things, uh we're not really built yet for that for the defense for me. And another um Riley. So I don't know. Um I think uh if we ever really need something that uh if we need a five player backline, Riley Riley Bugay can still be useful. Uh she's a very good DMF. Um I'm not sure if her pace would hold would be enough to be in the midfield. So I classified her as a defender for now. But I think um she I don't know what's happened, uh why she was not called up, but you know, uh I hope she gets a look in the upcoming training camp because for me her defensive skills are very competent and I think she can bring something to the squad in terms of defending. Gotcha. But do you think it'll be like super tough for her to to make it to the final roster simply because she hasn't played since what? The European Cup. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Um very tough. Especially uh if her fellow defenders in the pool already, you know, made leaps and grounds of improvement, already played for clubs overseas, participated in more games, you know, the fitness factor, the the familiarity factor, you know. Um it it it, it does take its toll. But uh, I still I still think and I still believe that uh she has the skills to, you know, make some inroads. But you know, it depends on the coaching staff if they if they think she's still worth a look for the upcoming women's world cup. So yeah. Yeah, interesting. We'll see. Um Jack, your thoughts with the other players mentioned. Okay, I will agree with the Riley because we haven't seen her since the European friendlies before AFF and yumpa naswertehan pa siya injury from that game. So um it's been a year since since she's out of the um, national team, more than a year I think. Yeah. So um hope um if she's if she will be given a chance to be invited for this next upcoming camp, then um, we can see what she has or if she's been training offline because um, that's another factor. Then if she's keeping herself healthy, if she's playing on her own or with other girls that we don't see. So um, we could be surprised of what she has diba, um, outside of the national team. So there. Um Dom is my in my level three because um she's not in the team as of the moment, but I'm hoping that she could jump to level two. So wait, lah, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, could you, could you, could you talk, moment. could you talk more about why she's on level three for you? Um, because you know, that's just a national team as of how many camps I think or C games and um, OQ. She's not with the team. So, um, but um, for me, kung makapasok siya sa roster, um, she would be my top level two for defenders because um, what I'm seeing from her as her advantage over Reina and Maya is her um, football IQ. Yeah. So she has that you know, then plus the one v one advantage that that she can do. So, yeah. So if there is a third CB for me, then that would be her. But she's not on the team. So hopefully we could see her in the upcoming camp and fight for that slot. So yeah. And um, Angie Beard is on level three because documents. But if she has it now, then she's going to be an automatic level one for me. What about the there. others? Malia Cesar, Chantal, what Mal- do you think? Malia Cesar. Oh. Um, <laughs> so um she's one of our um best subs then for right back 
But um, Vince knows, knows this naman. So I've been telling her that unpopular opinion for me. Um, from me pala. So um, uh, Alicia is my RB1. Yeah, RB1 for me is Alicia. And RB2 for me is Kylie Yap. So Kylie there. Yap? So, okay. Yeah. So, so do, you think, um, do you think Kylie Yap could be in, you know, in the discussion for the World Cup roster? Well, she's already fit. Um, she's cleared by her doctors, so it's up to the coaches if she'll be called up for the May for the for for the senior team for this World Cup. Um, I'm putting her head to head with Malia. Um, simply because they're really? both young. Yeah, they're both young, but I prefer Kylie more because she can outrun her opponents whenever she has a. 1v1 attacker and that is what Malaya is um, losing so she is always being outrun by her opponents and whenever she's being outrun she also tends to lose the ball if she has it so pag nandiyan na tas nag 1v1 so Kylie is more tactical for me so okay. mas preferred ko si Kylie as a sub than Malaya Okay, interesting. Yeah. Very interesting take. Can't you have anything to say about that? Nothing. <laughs> for me, it's just that um, um, for me, too early to tell for some players. For uh, kasi, I mean, the thing here is that well, while we don't discount the possibility, Coach Allen called up Isabella Passion out of you know the under seventeen squad to be in the senior level but mm. I think we have the deepest defensive rotation that we've had in a while so I think we'll be able to stick to that to those first uh, we have a lot of veterans already so uh, the youngsters time will come I, I just think that I uh, in the defensive side of things we should push for more of our re- serviceable defenders and reliable defenders yeah. because in Dibiro yung mga forward line na sasagupain ng Pilipinas in our group. So you really need those experienced and reliable defenders there. Yeah, I I totally agree. So that's that's really the reason why I don't have Mat- Malia um although Malia's fine, you know, she has found rather um mas iba, i, I mean if you'd compare to how she played last year, medyo <laughs> so yun nga, so just to 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 add to Kent's point earlier we're talking about World Cup levels now. And I don't think, um, kumbaga, you know, ano lang, unfortunate lang that there are just better players than, than Mali SSR and, and Chantal, who, you know, for the last few months, ano na sila, suki na sila sa, sa, sa sub-rotation natin eh. Um, iba na talaga, because we're talking about the World Cup squad now. Um, Chantal, to be honest, um, I expected a lot from her during the youth tournaments, and I was a little let down. If I'm being honest, I was a little let down. Um, during the is it was it U eighteen U U twenty U twenty no. Yes, U twenty U twenty yeah. yeah. So ayon um I think I've mentioned na uh, um Bonta and and Maya. So there I think let's move on to our midfielders. Um. Do you want to start, Jack? Okay, midfielders. Um, my automatic lock-ins would be Captain T, um, Jack, Sarah, and Quinley. Ah, okay. Did you mention Quinley or? No, I mean Quinley because is a natural forward, but she's always assigned as a midfielder for us, so that's why I'm putting her there. Okay, so yeah, so you're putting her as your lock as a midfielder. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. All right, go on, please. Sorry. Oh, okay. So yeah, um, So those are my uh, midfielders, but I'm shifting the the positions, as how I see it. So if we are, if I'm be putting them on the field, um, my right mid would be Sarah, um. And then next to her is Captain T. Next to her is Jack. And then my left mid is Quinley. 
um, simply because um, Sarah has always been playing right mid in her club. And whenever she comes back to national team, she somehow plays confused on the first few days. So I'm making her play her natural natural position in the in the national team. So um, see Captain Tinaman, I think she's more effective in the middle. That's why I'm switching her, um, playing her together with Jack as defensive mid, and then Quinley is. Um, somehow our utility player then, so she can play both sides. So I'm not worried if she'll be playing left mid. So that's my shuffle for the midfielders. And those are my lock instead. Gotcha. Kent, what do you yeah. think? Um, For my level one uh, midfielders, I have five. Uh, for the reason that... Go for know, it. Uh, if, we, if we said that uh, roster locks... Uh, I think these these five players are roster locks already. So we're gonna start with um Captain T, uh Tane Anis, then Sara Egespic, then Jackie Savitsky, Meryl Serrano, and I'd put Carly Freeless on the midfield as a wide option. So um so the first four uh that I've mentioned um. Wait lang. Why... Sorry, sorry. I just get. Ano parang I feel like we're always on the same wave. wave. Like I just check my locks. Pareho tayo. Sorry. Anyway, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> so well, the reason why is because um we Sarah, uh Jackie and Meryl they can interplay the three of them in cent in the center of midfield. Then you have Captain T who can play either the wide position or can be a defensive midfielder um i'm not discount um i think i might we might expect or we should not rule out the possibility that captain t can be deployed in the middle uh i think the pace if there's one thing about captain t that i'm worried about uh she's a gener generally reliable player but her pace against faster opponents something i'm a little bit concerned about but um but you know uh in in the last few months captain t has showed that she can adapt to that so then carly uh as well um you know um very real uh i mean serviceable wide mid um i think we need to deploy her uh, as a midfielder so that we need more so that we can have more pace on the on the wide areas of the midfield. So that's it for me. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, so like I said, Ken, uh we have the same locks. I have five T, Sarah, Freeless, um Jackie, my favorite, Savitsky, and Mariel Serrano. Um, for honestly, for the very same reasons that you've mentioned, but I just want to highlight on um freeless. Um, she's she's a really good uh a wide option for us. Um, so, sometimes you know a part of me would be so concerned if you know she's on that level, but I always go back to the fact that um she's been utilized in almost all the tournaments. So I mean hindi naman siya gagamitin kung I mean hindi siya ganun ka reliable. So yeah, so that's the reason why I've put her on lock for my midfielders. Let's talk about um level 2s. Do you, do you want to start Kent? Level 2 for me um would be um Isabella Passion first of all foremost. Um I think wow, I'm that's surprised. The trajectory for me is ano uh we should not discount that. Um, to make it to the senior team pool out of the under seventeens, uh, it's very impressive, and it's not that, uh, she's just there to gain experience. She's actually playing, and providing quality minutes whenever she can. So, for me, um, she has repaid the faith, uh, Coach Alet and the coaching staff saw in her. So. So 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 can sorry to interrupt you. So you're saying you won't be surprised if you see Be Bella Passion 
in in the World Cup roster or at least yes, the preliminary roster. Oh, nice. Yes, I won't. Yeah, for me. Um, she has, ano, she has impressed and rightfully. I, I agree. Yeah. Uh, she has, she has impressed me. She's like a little Jackie Savicki for me. So. Yeah. yeah, and it's important because uh, Jackie, as good as a player she is, um, she has she had her share of injuries and she's not really getting younger as well. And in that position, you would need someone who can be a serviceable option and can provide the same work rate that is expected. Mm-hmm. I think that's what made Bella Passion stand out. It's the work rate. And, you know, that's indispensable. If you have a quality, if you have the person who has the same work rate, like the one that she is uh, replacing. So, you know, that's that's already a positive for her. The next would be um Anika Castaneda. Um she has been there as a very good serviceable option of the bench. So won't be uh you know um and she's you know putting in decent performances. Then let another would be Kaya Hawkinson. I think uh Kaya should uh be a little more um decisive with her ball handling as well as uh the pace of her uh of her work rate uh i think she needs to catch up to the level 1 players in terms of that so so those are my level 2 midfielders got gotcha, Ken. how about you jack surprisingly we got the same so my first level 2 is isabella pashon and then my second midfielder is anika casaneda so um I put Isabella here because, again, she's from the U20s. So, but we wouldn't be surprised if she'll be coming back for a World Cup. But my only concern is um, we saw her being nervous when she faced the strong opponents. Yeah, she, she kind of yeah. struggled a bit, to be honest. Yeah, but... so in C games. Yeah. So that's my only concern for like, putting her there. And yeah, Annika, um, I need to see more of her. Um, like a more stronger Annika Casaneda. So that's why I'm putting her in level two. So you think a stronger, I'm just being a devil's, devil's advocate. Do you think <laughs> a stronger Annika Casaneda can make your level one? Yeah. Oh, okay. She, she has a high IQ. Um, I, we can see it in her games whenever she's filled in as a sub. Um, she makes an impact right away. But sometimes um, she struggles or sometimes she gets confused whenever the ball is on near her. She, oh, whenever she needs to type in, parang, ay, ay, ako pala yun. Yung, ay, sorry, I missed it. Yung, yung mga ganun. So, I need a stronger Annika Casaneda for her to be my locked in. So, there. Those are my level two midfielders. Thanks, Jack. So, my level two is the same. I have um, Annika Casaneda. Um, I've put Riley Bugay under the midfield. Um, you know, just compared to because I can't put her on the defensive lineup, baga. Uh, because I think you know Riley Bugay, she's been crucial for us, but like I said, she hasn't been called up, and I have no idea if she's training. So I don't know if you know in terms of her fitness levels, if she's there or if she can, you know, catch up to the level of where the other players are. So. I don't know. It, like I said, it, it, it could go either way. So and that's the reason why I have her on um level two. It's the same for Kaya Hawkinson um and Camrod. I put Camrod on um level two as a midfielder. So um I don't want to say um uh, you know for sentimental reasons, but um obviously Camrod is putting on the work um to try to make it to 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 the World Cup. Um, roster whether or not it's it's good enough for for Coach Allen again that's up to her to decide but I'm putting her on my on my level two. I have a question. What do we think of Jessica McLeod? Joanna, she's start. Oh, she's in my Jack. level three. I sorry, you're level you're um, level three. Yeah, she she's on my level three. Yeah. Because obviously she yeah. she hasn't been part of all the previous camps, but I think she deserves a second look. 
Um, yeah. So we we've never found out the reason why she's not making it to the camps, considering you know she's with the club now, playing in Sweden. So yeah, I think she deserves a second look. Second look. So I'll put her on level three. Okay, I'm glad we're all on the same page. Forwards. Okay, this would be interesting. Oh. You want to go ahead, Ken? Oh. <laughs> um, for the forwards, um, pretty straightforward. Um, so, level one. It's not straightforward, Ken. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Or I'm trying to, ano, I'm trying to. <laughs> maybe, down. maybe for you, Char. Yeah. For me, I have, um, uh, I have three, ah, uh, no, I have four. Four forwards who are, uh, you know, I have Sarina Bolden, I have, uh, Kindly Quesada, um, Katrina Giyu, and Bella Flanagan. Ano ba yan? Pareho na naman tayo. Yeah. So, Sarina. Wait, 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 wait. Ikaw, Jack, is it the same for you? Um, Sarina, no? Katrina, well, Meryl. Meryl is in my Meryl forward. Is forward. And, okay. And Bella Flanagan. Okay. So I got four. All right. Ken, go on, please. So, first of all, um, Sarina would be our designated target option up front. So, um, she's definitely needed there up front um and she needs to be on form as well uh and i think um she got her groove going after a very frustrating pinatar cup campaign i think that that's where where she realized that she needs to up her game against tougher opposition in the sea games i think she was able to redeem her, herself a bit but i we need to see more improvements from her but regardless of that uh the uh her position being vital she's a lock for the starting lineup katrina giu probably the best wide forward option that we have definitely gives us a lot of options um cutting inside um also can provide good crosses and can shoot from outside of the box yes also a curler on her so she can produce her curling attempts from outside the box that will be useful um kinli kezada She's like the she's like the pacemaker of the offensive line. Uh she sets the tone, she sets the tempo, she's everywhere. Um and we need that uh presence there, creativity. Uh she's her, she's so vital to the team that Coach Allen already it's like Coach Allen gave her the free role to roam around in the offen in the offensive uh lines. So I hope um uh, she can rep she can you know up her form as well and bella uh number one option from the bench uh, if we Ulet, in Filipino, Ulet. Sino, sino? Uh, si bella bella Planica. <laughs> yeah um, baga, ano, um we can classify her if uh, as a magic bunot kung sa in filipino sports terminology if nothing really gets going on offense and we would need the spark um either up front or in the flank then you'll have Bella Flanagan as a serviceable option. And it's not like she can't hold her own. Um, she, has, she has showed that time and time again. All right. Thank you, Kat. Jack, you want to talk about your level one players? And so um, level one, I think yung, the only difference for me is like, is Mary putting it, putting putting Meryl in the forwards for me because um that's her natural Sorry. position. So could you could you say who your forwards are again? Meryl Um Meryl, Serena, Serena. Kat and Bella Flanagan. Kat and Bella, okay. So just for for your locked ins. Yeah. Okay. So I'm letting Meryl play her natural position. And um we've seen wonders when she started. So they she worked um efficiently with Serena. So we got a goal a god during OQ. So um my concern here for World Cup is um Serena has been our poster girl because of FIFA. So in every poster international roster poster she's there, she's our representative. So I'm worried that she'll be um heavily guarded. So which opens an opportunity for Kat and QQ from the side to score. So Anusha. Parang okay okay lang din 
parang ipapain natin si Sarina, sorry. But we've got two um killer scorers that ano lang waiting for their time to take the shot. So and Meryl too. So we've got three rotations from there, can be included from the midline. So Bella Flanagan is my sub. So but she's a lock in together with Carly in it. So yeah. You know. Gotcha. So you're saying Carly is in your level two for forwards? Um no. She is in my midfield. Ah, okay. Because you, yeah. you mentioned yeah. you. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, like um for the forwards, it's the same for me. Same as Kent, Serena, Bella, Katrina, and QQ. Um, I don't think I, you know, I could add more to what Kent has already said. So I'll just go on with my level two. The only person on my level two option would be Chandler McDaniel. And the only reason why she's on level two for me is because of um I I don't know if um we don't know if she could play on that level given that um you know she still rec- well she has recovered fully. Um, I think my only concern is she, since she hasn't play, played the same level of games that these other four has in the past year since she got injured, um, she she has a lot to um, make up for. And if we are to release a preliminary roster, I think Chandler will make it. But whether or not she'll make the final roster, I'm not sure if, if I'm being honest. It'll be up to... Um, uh the coaching staff um but uh a huge part of me thinks uh and 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 I'm confident that she'll she'll make the final roster but if I'm just being objective and if we look at the facts right now um she'll be on my uh level 2 list what about you Ken? well we're actually this on the same page there uh Chandler is yeah. the only one on my level two because um because she's still recovering from that injury. That's only the the concern. Okay. Uh without that injury she'd probably be on the level one. Oh yeah for sure. So, um, y- 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 talaga. But I think she's still um regaining that form that she had before. Yes. But I think um Chiguro 60 40 yeah. she'll mm-hmm. be able to make it. Same. Um, Chandler is my only level two forward, simply because I haven't seen the AFC chat level. Mm-hmm. So if she'll be able to go back and more sa level niya no AFC, then she'll be an automatic level one for me. So if she'll be included in the uh, final cut roster, um, I'm seeing her as a sub um, with her current um, level. But if she will regain her skills and more, she might even start. So, yeah, yeah there. So, yeah. same same stance same, with same. chat. Okay, yeah. wow. Well, we're being objective, uh, talaga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in, in reality, in the level one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm, I'm glad we're on the same page on that. So yeah, um any final thoughts before um we end this recording about you know your choices and your overall um pambato, thoughts uh as we you know malapit na release tong roster. <laughs> uh Jack, you wanna start? Oh, um, I forgot to mention the level 3 go for the midfield. So I said a while ago, I've got Niklat there. Um, hopefully, she'll yeah, should be given a second look because um, she's been making some explosion with Escalduna. So it's time maybe so for her to show what she's what she's what she's earned in from the from the clubs and put it in the in the national team. Um, level three good in is Kaya Hawkinson, and I've got Cam Rodriguez. So there. So and, sorry. So you have Kaya Hawk and Cam Rod on level three, Tama? Yeah, together with McLeod. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So 
yeah, so this August camp, I mean, uh, Ju- June camp, um, this will be very exciting. I'm hoping for a preliminary list because there's so much talent from our pool and it's going to be a fight <laughs> for everybody. So it's enjoyable, but it's going to be heartbreaking once the final roster is out. So you want for me. Okay. Thank you, Jack. What about you, Ken? Well, just to add, um, Tamrod is in my level three forward list. So level three forward. Forward. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah. I think she's really um Yeah, that's her that's her yep. position talaga forward. Yep. I think she's really having a great um stint so far uh, overseas and she's really doing her best to you know make a case for her to be called up to the provisional lineup reminds me a bit of Bethany England like the road that you know taking the road not taken and trying to you know and uh how do you call this bet on herself yeah true yeah so it's paying dividends so far but you know only the coaching staff will know if it's enough for them or not if it's up to the quality that they require um regarding the overall lineup and the outlooks that we have on the big board um few months ago when when we did it uh we're having a hard time but you know is, is it easier the, now after the pinatar cup after the the Olymp- after seeing three tournaments i think it uh, uh you know there we're seeing a test of composure to all of the ladies. Um, we're seeing who who will who who steps up, who melts under the pressure, who is really up to the up to the challenge. You know, it's uh we've never had this before, like three tournaments in a year, and we're not we're not even finished with the first half of the year. We already have three tournaments, so you know, um, it's quite um a hectic year so far for our Filipinas but um it's a test of character and fitness and you know everything they they're laying down they're laying down everything out there um but the roster is just starting to shake up well halata naman with all of our choices we're having some similarities on who to call up so you know it's it's the it's the evidence that you know we already have a lot of names in mind and it's the same you know um but in training camp it will be the the real test um hopefully no injuries in the training camp all are healthy and no i won't really question i mean i i fully place my faith on the coaching staff on whatever they deem um necessary or to call up what should be filled uh, what should be prioritized so well to all the to all our ladies there um uh, best of luck and to um they're pursuing a dream of a lifetime so yeah good luck thank you ken thank you jack so um look just to just to close this out now i'm just happy that i don't have the problem of choosing <laughs> from such talented pool of players and even happier that we have someone like Coach Allen and his staff to, to do that, you know. Um, a lot of people, like what Kent already said, would be heartbroken when the final roster is released, for sure. But let's just keep in mind that Coach Allen and his team will be sending the best possible players to represent us in the World Cup. This is not a popularity contest, you know. There's no point in also talking about other heritage players that you know we could have in this team we don't have space for players who don't have any burning desire to represent or you know are not eligible in the first place there's no room for for sentimentality uh, i'm i'm confident we'll have the best team possible who will represent us with pride so i hope that we support them in any way we can so that's it um Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, so we'll be recording actually another um another episode together with Mark Manguni. Mark Manguni is supposed to be with us uh tonight. He's not available, 
Um, so we'll be recording a separate one. Um, where we'll talk about um our group stage matches. 